Wix newsletter tutorial, how to create a newsletter in Wix. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can create an amazing newsletter using Wix. So let's jump right in. Now, if you have a Wix website, you can elevate your website's performance by sending out subscription-based newsletters to your audiences. And building a newsletter on an entirely different platform can be really difficult, especially for businesses that are just starting out. So I recommend utilizing the full force of your Wix website builder and actually using their email marketing tools that you're going to have access to for free anyways. So let's get started. Now to get started, simply head on over to your Wix dashboard. You're going to scroll down on the left and you're going to see marketing. Now within marketing, once you hover your cursor over it, you're going to find email marketing. So just select email marketing from here. And once you select email marketing, you can get started with building your first email campaign. So you can choose to build your own email before you can, you know, send it out. So you can actually use a template or build your email from scratch. We're going to start email from scratch and we're going to build a really simple email. On the top, I like to add a logo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add on the left. I'm going to drag the logo option from the left on to the preview section. Then you're going to select the logo section, click on change image, and then upload your own logo image. So this will also extract all of your site files. So whatever files you have uploaded on your Wix website can be accessed, but my logo is different. So I'm just going to have to upload that over here. And I'm just uploading my logo over here. And now I'm going to click on add to page. And now my logo has been added. Then I can click on the design. So if I want it to be small, medium, or large, if I want it to be right, left, or center, oriented, then we can choose the paddings as well. I'm going to add a little bit of padding on the bottom. And then below that, we're just going to click on apply to save these changes. After that, we have our basic header. This is usually what grabs the attention of your audience within any type of campaign. And initially in the first email, your campaign header needs to be really catchy. So we're going to add the summer season sale is live. We're just going to add that like so. And once we have added this, we are going to style it a bit. So you can click on the font style on the left. You have large heading, medium heading, small heading. I'm going to go with a medium sized heading. And then we have different fonts that we can pick out from. I'm going to go for this font because I really like it. And then we can choose the size of our text as well. Then you can choose your style. If you want to make this text bold, you can choose bold, italic, underline, text color. Highlight, you can choose the alignment as well as add links, strike throughs, formatting, and more. Now, once you do that, you can click on design and you can choose the design of the entire tab. So you can see we have default width and then we have padding on the top. I can remove the padding on the top, like so. And I think I'm going to add slight padding on the top because I did not add any padding on the top section for the logo as well. Once you do that, we can see we have a lot of padding on the right and left. I'm just removing that. I think I'm actually going to add padding on the right, um, on the left a little, because the, visually the text doesn't look centered to me. So I want it to be a bit more centered like this. So once we do that, we can just click on apply and then we can move forward on to the next step. So now we have to design the basic section. I'm going to delete this image and we're going to build our own. Now on the left, you have different themes you can apply, backgrounds, AI emails you can build, but we're going to go into add on the left and I am going to drag and drop an image over here and we can use whatever image you want. We're going to just add this one and you can choose the width, the alignment and the size. I'm going to go for a really small size on this and then I'm going to click on add elements. Then we are going to click on text over here. You can add columns if you want, but I'm just going to add text over here by the best makeup of the season for up to 50% off. 
and I'm just going to highlight the part where it says off. So I'm just going to select that text and make it bold, actually 50%. And then I'm going to select the rest of the font and I'm going to actually make it a smaller size. Now, after that, you can add a button for your shop now. So this is going to be renamed. You're just going to click on the button and the button text is going to say shop now. And I'm going to enter my store URL and then just click on apply. Once you do that at the bottom, you have your store footer. So this is really important to set up. Whenever you are setting this up, you have to complete your basic information. If you don't complete your basic info, this is going to be considered incomplete and you can get flagged on Google. So M1J3 and 3 like this, and then we can add our phone number over here. Then after that, we can add our social links. If you don't want to share your social links, you can remove them. I, let's say I only have Pinterest, so I can only add that. But if you don't have any social for your particular business, you can remove that. And then you have your site link. I would like to include two site links. And then we have to just click on apply. And below that, you have your Wix branding, which is added on any type of unpaid version of Wix. Once you've completed this, you can click on preview and test on the top right to see what your email is going to look like in an in inbox. I'm just going to click on next to move towards the second step. So from here, you're going to choose all of your recipients. I'm just going to add myself as the only recipient and then just click on next. Once you do that, you will see your overall campaign. So you have your email recipient sender as well as your subject line. Now to create an email newsletter or campaign, we're just going to click on schedule over here and schedule this. Now, once you schedule this, you have the option to change the sender name. For example, I want to send this out with the name of Billy Davis. I can do that and I can choose the reply to email as well, which is going to be our business's email. Click on save and you just have to confirm your email address. You can also click on send test email and you can just send it to any person and add your own subject lines. You can just add your subject line over here and that is all you have to do. Once you do that, you can just click on send now like so. And we're just going to confirm our mail address to complete our sending process. So we can go on to Wix over here. Somewhere along here, we're going to have our email confirmation. I'm just going to copy that. We can paste it and then click on confirm. And now we can just click on done. And now our mail will be sent out like so. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.